What's up, my name is Cody, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Spotify canvas that looks just like this. Now this song is three, just about four years old now, and so we're not making any new designs or videos for this song, and so I wanted to use the old music video that we had and repurpose it for Spotify canvas. Now if you are familiar with Spotify canvas, they don't accept the traditional 16 by nine, instead they want it all vertical for your iPhone, so just like an Instagram story or something on TikTok. So what I'm gonna to have to do is take our old 16 by nine and find a way to fit it into the nine by 16 that Spotify Canvas requires. If you want to know more about Spotify Canvas and how to upload and how all that works, I have a video right here you can go check out all about Spotify Canvas, exactly what it does, and your video requirements. So uh, let's jump into the computer and check it out. I almost forgot I can't see without these. By the way, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I post a ton of music related videos just like this. And if you do find this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up down below. Really helps out me and my channel so much. So thanks in advance. But yeah, let's jump into it. So I am working here in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, but this will work on any video editing software that you have, whether it's iMovie or whatever you choose to work in. I just happen to work in Premiere Pro myself, so that's what I'm familiar with and like to work in. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do, obviously, is pull in your old music video. So I'm gonna pull in my music video right here. And once again, this doesn't have to be a music video. Spotify Canvas encourages a lot of really cool video designs. And so if you're good at making videos or you have some cool animations that you wanna use, that would work really well as well. But we shot a really nice looking music video for this, so I figured why not use the content that I already have once again as I mentioned this song's already three just about four years old so there's no point going back in and creating more content for a song that's not really getting pushed by us anymore now another really helpful tool that I actually created just myself is the Spotify canvas template now I'm gonna pull this into premiere and you'll see exactly why this could be really really helpful and I'm actually gonna link it down below totally free so if you want to go ahead and download this PNG it's gonna make it so much easier while you're designing your Spotify canvas as you'll see in just a minute all right, so first thing we're gonna have to do is pull our video into the timeline, and now you'll see that it's gonna play in this old 16 by nine format, but I need it to be the other way. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go into my actual sequence. So if you're on Premiere, it will be the same as this, just under sequence settings. If you're on a different video editing software, it will probably be somewhere else. Uh, so you'll have to figure that one out. Maybe send me a message, I can figure it out for you. But basically all that we're gonna do is change it from being 1920 to 1080 horizontal and then we'll change our 1080 to 1920 vertical and this will give us that beautiful looking 16 by 9 just like on your iPhone and this is the format that Spotify canvas needs it in so this is how we're gonna need to make this video work now obviously if I was just to play it scrubbing through it doesn't look too great because a whole bunch of it's cropped out so we're gonna have to fix that now this is where this template comes in real handy I'm gonna throw this in on the video right here and stretch it out throughout the song. And you'll see that I made it, so it will show you exactly what it's gonna look like on Spotify. It will show you where the song title is gonna be, where the play button is. So I found this was just a really helpful tool for me to get a general guideline while I'm making it. Obviously, I don't want anything right here where it says song title and artist name, or else that's gonna get a little bit confusing and hard to read. The play button and the forward and back and all those buttons take up a lot of space. So this is something to think about while you're designing your Spotify canvas. Now, there are a couple different ways that we could go about making this video. Uh, one thing that we could do is just go into our effects controls and just zoom in on it. And so basically it's gonna cut out all the rest and we're gonna have this nice little video. Uh, but you'll see not everything's in frame. There might be a few parts, but you're gonna miss a pretty big section of the video just from doing this. Now, depending on your song and your video and what you're using, this might actually work pretty well. I've actually seen quite a few parts that I kind of like the look of this. I mean, that part right there is pretty good. You get a whole section of it. But if you still do want the whole video and you want it to still be that uh, 16 by nine format, what we're gonna do is we're gonna double this. I'm gonna do this by holding option on my keyboard. And so now you'll see that I have two of these videos here. One taking up the full screen in the back and then one small in the front. So this one in the front, I'm gonna scale it down and you'll notice that now all of a sudden we can see the whole thing. Now, one thing that I have going on with this is this video does have a crop on it. So it has these black bars. I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and get rid of that by going to crop and dragging that onto the top one and cropping it 13% on the top and 13 on the bottom. Now, if your video doesn't have black bars on the top, you're not gonna have to worry about that. I just know that that's the way this video is exported because I worked on the director with it. So that's something that we're gonna have to do. Now, one really cool thing that you can do to make, if we were just to play this, 
you'd see that they don't really pop out from each other. Obviously the one in the middle is a little bit cleaner and a little bit crisper, but it doesn't really sit too well together. So what you're gonna wanna do to make this really pop is go into your effects and search for a blur. Now my favorite blur to use that works really, really well is a Gaussian blur. So if I drop this on the backing uh, video, so the backing video is this one, the <laughs> nice face, look at that. Oh, that's great, you can zoom in on that right there. Anyways, if you put the Gaussian blur on that background one and you start to dial it in, you'll see how it starts to kind of take it out of focus. So dial this into taste and then throw your video on top. And now all of a sudden when you start playing through, it actually looks pretty cool. I might want to blur this back one out a little more just so you can't totally tell what's going on here, but you still get an idea of what's going on and it kind of highlights uh, the, the main focus of the video. Now, since this video was shot super, super widescreen, I'm actually gonna zoom in on it a bit because I don't like how much of it or how little of it is taking up this screen. So that's one thing. Of course, this is all to taste and you can do whatever you want. If you want it to look like this, I mean, you could make it super small and just in the center like that if you prefer. Now, what I think I'm actually gonna do with this is zoom it out a bit and pull it up. Like I said, I wanna make sure that this song title and artist name are still really visible. So I might zoom in a bit and I might position it up. Now, a really cool thing that this crop feature actually has is this uh, feather edge. So you'll see if I go to the right, it'll start bringing back in those black bars, which we don't want. But if I go the other way, it'll start kind of feathering out uh, the top and the bottom, that's really gonna help make it blend with the background blurred image. So this is one thing that you can do, just throw a crop on there, whether you actually use the crop or not, you can use this edge feather and really help transform the top and the bottom of this video. And then from there, I'm just gonna play around with the position until I like where it sits. I don't know if I like it above the song title and artist name, cause you kind of lose what's going on there. I almost think I prefer it down a little bit, kind of covering it. And then I can maybe even zoom more and make it take up a bit more of the screen. And I actually kind of like the way that looks right there. I think that's actually really clean and it kind of almost blends in the whole thing. It almost makes it look like it was made to be shot uh, 9 by 16 this vertical um, thing that, you're, I mean, your phone is a vertical device, right? So it makes it look like it's supposed to be on your phone. Uh, but it gives a lot more of the whole image, even though it's not zoomed in the same amount, it's still kind of backed off. So I think this is probably how I'm gonna end up doing this one. But once again, this is totally up to taste. You can do whatever you prefer with this and whatever you like and whatever you think looks good and works for your band and works for your style. All right, now from here, we're gonna have to trim this down to three to eight seconds because that's what Spotify requires for their canvas. So you gotta go ahead and scrub along and find some starting point that you really like. Uh, I'm gonna go with this spot right around here. I wanna get um, a nice variety of, of different shots, basically. I want a ton of shots. I want some of this B-roll uh, with this actress here, and then I want some of myself and some of the singer Shane and some of all the members, if I can, uh, get them all to fit if possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a spot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark my in. And then I'm gonna go about seven and a half seconds from there. So you see right here, we're at uh, 101.10. So I will go to one, Oh, eight, 10. Yeah, somewhere right on here. We can actually extend that out a little bit. We'll go right before it cuts there. That'll be our out. And so then there, I'm gonna have my nice little three to eight second clip and it will look something like this. As you can see, you get all of us in it. You get a bit of the B-roll, nice little spin, some of the drums, and that looks great. I think that's really wicked. So I'm gonna go ahead and export that and upload it to Spotify. Now, one quick thing to mention is make sure that you don't export it with this uh, template layer on top because that's not gonna look very good at all. Spotify might actually even reject it. I'm not too sure. Not something I really wanna try. So make sure that you remember to turn that off I know it may look silly uh, without it on, but trust me, once it's uploaded to Spotify, that will always be on there. So yeah, once again, if you do wanna download this template, I got a link to it down below. I found it really helpful in designing the video and figuring out exactly where I want everything to be. Naturally, you may think that you want your main video to sit somewhere in the middle here, but as it turns out, it actually looks way better higher up just because once you pull in all the information, it gives it a totally different look. So yeah, just remember to turn that off before you export it. And if you wanna download it, once again, down in the link in the description. All right, now once that's exported, to get it uploaded to Spotify Canvas, it is such an easy process. I'll walk through it really quick, just so you know. All you're gonna have to do is go find your song on your artist's for Spotify account. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I got a link down below to a video that'll show you how to sign up for your Spotify artist account. It's once again, really, really easy to do. You just need to link your email and a couple social media accounts to prove that you are, actually the artist. Um, and then yeah, once you click on the song, you simply just go to add canvas 
and you can just drag and drop it right here or go and select it. So this is the one that I selected. And then it will give you that beautiful preview of exactly what you just created. And so as you can see, that's where the song title goes and where the band name goes. And I actually really, really like how it turned out. So from there, all you're gonna need to do is go ahead and click next and you're gonna have to agree to their terms and upload it. And that is all that it takes to do that. Now, I know not all of you may have Spotify Canvas yet, but Spotify has said that's coming to all of their users very, very soon. Uh, one reason that I got it, and I actually just got it within the past few weeks, is because I'm a DistroKid user. If you use DistroKid to upload your music to Spotify, you're gonna get this feature completely free, and you're gonna be one of the select few people that actually have access to this feature. So if you need to upload your music to Spotify, I'd highly recommend using DistroKid. I got a link down below that will save you 7% off your first year, so feel free to use that referral link if you'd like. Uh, but if not, I just, I highly recommend using DistroKid, especially because you have so many amazing features like this. There's so many, the list goes on and on, but uh, that's my little plug for DistroKid. Go sign up with them. They are really, really great. So that is how easy it is to create a Spotify canvas. This literally took me five to 10 minutes to do using an existing piece of content and just repurposing it for this short little three to eight second clip. Now I want to know, what do you think of Spotify canvas? Do you like that they're implementing visuals into the platform? I know this is something so super new for any type of music uh, digital streaming service. So I wanna know what your thoughts are. Drop a comment down below, let me know. And if you did find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. It really helps out me and my channel and gets this video seen by many more people. And if you wanna stay up to date with more music related content just like this, don't forget to subscribe down below so that you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.